morning everyone welcome back to my allotment diaries my name is emma these are my allotment diaries ow uh this is my first allotment plot going into my second year now second spring so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put up a playlist of all my best from last year and then i'll start putting these into playlists of months um just to make my channel a bit bloody door a bit easier to navigate so you're welcome <laughs> That's me, going out of my way to do things nobody asked for. What are you doing, Dor? Thank you. Um, saw Foxy on the way here. People have been asking me about my fox at the plot because he hasn't been around for long, but I did see him on the way. There he is, skulking on the pavement. Um, that's all I could get because just round that wall there, a man was feeding him uh, what I can only describe as chicken nuggets. So... We all care about foxes here apparently. I was just thinking to myself eh, when I saw him skulking around, I did think, can you imagine the joy of being a fox and then finding a place like the allotment? Like your whole life you've been like avoiding cars, going through rubbish bins, trying to look for some kind of food, being shooed away by people and all of a sudden you stumble across like an allotment. Like, you'd be so happy, wouldn't you? You'd be like, oh my god, what is this magical place with all this food to eat, all these squirrels, all these birds? all these vegetables, all these raised beds to take a crap in. Like, he must have been so happy, so. It's the heat wave in the UK. That means that the weather is going up to sort of 23 degrees for three days, which is amazing. It's like summer. Um, I'm absolutely over the moon about it. I got so many messages from you guys saying, Emma, slow down, relax. Don't plant everything out because it's not summer yet. But I, I, I'm gonna plant out my summer bulbs. <laughs> I'm gonna plant, plant out my dahlias. Oh, my dahlias they are they are beautiful looking aren't they speckled mix never grown these ones before all my other ones died and i'm going to plant out my gladioli as well and my sweet peas so we're going to do flowers today which i'm so excited about i think they'll survive and um, my technique is very much whack it in and see what happens um and that's what we're going to do <laughs> welcome to my channel guys the whack it in method with emma right let's whack them in Look at this beautiful day guys, look at this bloody beautiful day, almost blue skies, almost, so if you remember I dug it all over, dug it all over, dug it, dug it, whatever, um, put some poo down, horse poo I believe, and um, left it, so now I'm going to dig that horse poo in and uh, plant in my flowers really, and I'm thinking for sweet peas, I'm not going to use this this little insect swing adventure playground. I'm gonna use that for something else, like peas or something. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a tripod, a tripod of sweet peas. I think you know what I'm trying to say. As usual, I think you know. So I'm just gonna do it and hope that you do know. <laughs> Last year I did just whack in my dahlias to a raised bed and then I put a little bottle over them, like a little cut uh, plastic bottle and they just grew and they were fine but I was wondering why this was because everyone starts them in pots don't they um, and I was thinking about why it was and I think it's because my raised bed was kind of like a pot because I put so much new compost in it and the sides are quite raised it was almost like I was putting them into a pot to start them off um, and then obviously covering them but I think it will work. Yeah. Not squishy. 
good sign, right? Alright. Good. What I will say is make sure you leave enough room between the flowers because that was my big mistake last year and that's not just about not allowing the flowers to actually grow but also you're setting yourself up for disease and everything because when plants are too close together they're more likely to like get diseases and stuff and like rot or whatever that like they need airflow you need to have airflow through them so I'm going to try and make sure I do that this time sorry if it's noisy here there's so many birds can you hear them They've all come out of hiding. Sun's out, bird's out. Right, okay. Yeah, you can see. I don't really know if it's better to grow gladioli in a grid or a group or in a row, but from what I've seen on the allotment plot here, everybody seems to grow them in rows. So I'm going to grow mine in rows this year. I'm going to try and do a long row and then another long row because that's what everyone else seems to do. So I'm going to take advice from them because it looked right and mine didn't look right being in a grid. So I think if it looks right, sometimes it just sort of is right. <laughs> Riveting advice today. <laughs> Riveting. Right, I actually do have a bit of uh, what I think is valuable advice for you on building a tripod or like a TP. Get your, get your twine like this. Tie three or four sticks together first like this. I'll do an example and everything. Right. Get your three towels like that. Tie them together. Right. Did not. Oh God, come on. Come on, Emma. This can be your moment. We've tied three together. Now, make the structure. Obviously, they're the same length. And that's how to make a teepee without like having to balance two together like I was doing before. This is an easier way of doing it. So tie three together, prop it up like a tripod, they're all together, and then just keep adding poles. There you go, easy, see, easy. Don't say you don't learn anything on this channel. It's all changing now, guys, it's all changing now. I mean, fair enough, it's quite an odd looking tripod. Uh, because not all my sticks are the same length but I think when it's got sweet peas up it it'll look normal and what I've learned when everything's growing at your plot no matter how wonky things are when it's all up and growing it looks great so don't worry too much if your tripod looks like a a weird upside down umbrella thing because it will do the job hopefully if it doesn't it's crap I don't get me wrong if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do and it falls down You've lost it. It's rubbish. Hopefully it won't. Gotta admit, it looks slightly weirder with the uh, string around it, especially being red string, because it's the only one I've got left. Twine, sorry, not string, twine, but look at it now. Just looking a little bit weirder, but hopefully, like I said, when the sweet peas are growing, it'll look all right. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Right, let's get these bulbs then. Right, gladiolis are now in. I just whacked them in. I think they'll be all right. This is a dahlia tuber, by the way. It looks so weird. It's like some kind of octopus. It's got these little tentacles on it. This little stick thing needs to be like just above the ground. That's where the flowers are gonna come from or the plant or whatever. This all goes under the ground, okay? Right. Because I thought they were so weird when I first saw them last year. I was like, what is this? Right, dig a hole. Dig a hole bigger than we need, like that, okay? Then, to give the plant as much help as possible, and Lord knows that we need it going out at the end of March, we'll fill it with compost to help drainage. 
you know, guys, this is really good compost from B and Q. It's seven quid and everything, so it's like brilliant. Right, Let's get a bit more. It's absolutely packet of goodness. Where's the alien gone? There it is. Put our alien tuber in. Oh God, I can never get these things in right. Right, think like that. Sort of spread out, a bit like a starfish, I think. That's how it goes. There you are, like starfish. Um, and then we'll just pack in a little bit of that. Get used to the soil. And then, more compost. All right. on top of each other ha, ha, ha. some of them look a little bit worse for wear but I'm going to plant all of them out and then some of them have done really really well look at those they're going to be really bushy plants so I'm going to get them all in all of them because I don't expect them all to survive somebody said why don't I grow them up my um, teepee over there um, I did that last year and they were really hard to get to I didn't really enjoy them as much being all the way at the back of the plot over there and also bindweed takes over that teepee so I just thought you know what I won't put them on that this year because I want to actually get to them better and pick them better so I'm going to do them here at this little makeshift thing <laughs> god right same con same concept of digging it putting the compost in just to add a bit of help that. I hope that's horse hair. Oh God. Quick bury it. God, that's the last thing I need for a dead body to be under here and have the old bill digging up my entire allotment plot. Stuff that. Stay under there, mate. Hopefully that's just horse hair. Flipping heck. <laughs> So many people here today because obviously very nice week and everyone's on Easter holidays now except my kids um, so everyone's here busy at their plot so I'm keeping my voice down I hope the vlog was okay because of that because this is the only way I kind of feel comfortable filming them when I keep my voice down and then try and up the volume <laughs> I need to get a little microphone or something I hope you enjoyed it uh, flowers are in I hope it was nice and springy for you and uh, enjoy the heatwave if you're in the UK and I will see you in my next vlog guys thanks for watching bye